Hi everyone, this is a technical analysis on Dow Jones. The sell-off that started at the beginning of August is starting to show signs of weakness. Although nothing changed fundamentally, the Dow Jones started to range as the market was just probably overstretched. This looks more like a consolidation before another drop, as the missing yesterday's US PMI doesn't support the bullish case. On the daily chart, we can see that the fake out about the key resistance at 35,289 led to a big sell-off afterwards with the Dow Jones, breaking below the support and the trend line here. This breakup opened the door for a fall into the 33,805 support, and we will likely see the seller spiling at every pullback unless the price rises back above the 34,900 level, invalidating the bearish setup. On the 4-hour chart, we can see that we've been consolidating here around the 34,400 level for almost a week now, as the market is probably awaiting some catalyst to push it on either side. We can see that we have a strong resistance around the 34,800 level, where we can also find the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level for confluence. This is where we can expect the sellers to pile in with a defined risk about the level to target the 33,805 support. On the one hour chart, we can see that we have a minor support zone here around the 34,490 level, which is likely to act as a barometer for the sentiment. In fact, if the price falls below this level, we can expect the sellers coming in and push the price to new lows. Vice versa, if the price stays above the level, the buyers are likely to keep pushing the price towards the 34,800 resistance. Today we will have the latest US jobless claims report, where the market will want to see if the labor market is still holding or starting to weaken. Strong data may cause some hawkish repricing in expectations and it's unclear if the market will take it as good news because of the resilient labor market or bad news because the Fed will keep at it. Weak data should be more straightforward as it's likely to cause recessionary fears given yesterday's PMIs and send the market lower. Tomorrow we will hear from Fetcher Powell, who is set to speak at the Jackson Hole Symposium, although the expectations are for him to just repeat their data dependency and keep all the options on the table.